Hi, my name is Madeleine Kessler and I'm the co-creator of the British Pavilion at the Venice Architecture Biennale 2021 and a director of Unseen Architecture. This video is part of the London Festival of Architecture's 30 Objects in 30 Days project. The object of power and architecture that I would like to discuss is the public toilet. Public toilets empower us to access public space away from our homes without the fear of being caught short. Yet talking about toilets seems to be somewhat taboo. On a personal note, I met managing my co-creator for the British Pavilion and the queue for the toilets. Our subsequent working relationship has led us to explore how we can better open up public space. And I believe that access to toilets is essential for this. Britain's first public toilets opened in the Great Exhibition of 1851, inviting visitors to spend a penny. Public lavatories were soon commonplace in Victorian Britain, but most were designed for men. Lack of access to toilets prevented women from venturing far from home, keeping them on a urinary leash. The suffragette movement challenged this division of society, and in the early 20th century, the department store Selfridges became one of the first places to provide publicly accessible toilets for women. But it wasn't until 1926 that Hull City Council became one of the first councils to build a public toilet serving both sexes, replacing an earlier men-only urinal with the now-listed Nelson Street toilet block. Public toilets have since evolved to become an essential part of our urban infrastructure, but there is little legislation to protect them. With a lack of public funding, council-run toilets are disappearing from our cities, forcing people to either stay close to home, pay to use a toilet in a private establishment, or to use the street itself as a toilet, leading to inequality in how we access and use the city. The Royal Society for Public Health found that over half of people restrict fluid intake before going out for fear of not being able to find a toilet. Some schemes are addressing how to fill this void. Labs, for example, is a community toilet scheme in Sheffield that allows anyone to use the toilets of participating premises, whether they are a paying customer or not. London Loo Codes is a Twitter account set up to share codes for toilets and private establishments, making them more freely accessible. And the Great British Public Toilet Map is a database of toilets across the UK, sharing the location of over 11,000 facilities, including those in train stations, shopping centres and libraries. To conclude, publicly accessible toilets liberate us to venture further from our homes. They are essential components of a fairer and more equitable society. Ultimately, when inclusive and well designed, the public toilet empowers us all by allowing the freedom to explore the city and to use public space on our own terms.